Hi guys, Leslie here, and I want to show you how to do a no follow on an affiliate link. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log into ClickBank and I'm going to grab an affiliate link to just about any product. I don't do anything over at ClickBank, so I'm not really too concerned if anybody sees my account. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the marketplace. I'm going to find a product, let's just say dog training, um, for the heck of it, okay? So here's dog training product, okay? So I want to go ahead and I'm going to grab the link by clicking promote. Um, I don't need a tracking ID on it, but normally I would put a tracking ID on it, so we're just going to write sample tracking ID. Tracking ID is just going to help you in your reports track back to where the sale was made. So if you gave every, a new tracking ID to every single post, then you would know which post those sales came from. Um, you can also do it to a group of posts, but it's good to use a tracking ID. Don't mind my little stumble bar. It likes to hang out and do stuff. Um, so I would go ahead and I'd hit create. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to give me my affiliate link. So here's my affiliate link for ClickBank to that product. Okay, so I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to take it back and close the window um, over here to my blog post. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link this. I'm going to put my affiliate link. Okay. I'm going to paste that in there. All right. Ta -da. Now we have an affiliate link to this dog training product that I picked out of the blue. But what we want to do is add the no follow attribute, or I'm not even sure if it's an attribute, but the no follow uh, tag to it. So we're going to go ahead and go into our text editor. I'm going to blow this up a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing. Now right here, it has your link in the HTML code. You're going to want to put your no follow right in between the bracket and this quotation thingamabob. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab, I have my no follow code already saved. I'm going to put this down in the link notes down below the video so you can have it, but I'm going to paste the no follow code right here. In addition to the no follow, I usually um, also paste this target blank. Okay, target blank opens it in a new window. All right, if you don't want to open it in a new window, you can remove that. But I usually open my affiliate links in a new window because I want to keep the reader on my blog at the same time. So I will put that target blank in there. But really what we're talking about here is this no follow tag. And I'm going to put both of them down in the description notes. So don't freak out. It's there. But where it needs to go is right before the ending bracket, right after the link. Okay, and it needs to go right in there. And then what that does is it adds the no follow attribute to this um, particular link. And we can test it by turning on my no follow. Um, I have a no follow extension on my Google Chrome. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn that on so that we can see that it is no follow. Okay. I don't always have this extension on, but it's called no follow simple. And it will tell you if you're your uh, links are no follow or not on your website. So if you're wanting to check them all, you can do this just by adding this Chrome extension called no follow simple. So now it's enabled and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to preview this and hopefully it's going to work in a preview without me publishing. Perfect. It did. Um, and so you see this little red box around it. That means it has the no follow attribute on there. I'm not even sure if it's an attribute, but it has the no follow code on there. And that code is going to tell um, bots that are on your page that this is um, this is a link where you have mutual benefits. Okay, and we, I'm going to link down to the blog post that Robin at Pajama Affiliates wrote on no follow links. Um, and you can go ahead and check that out if you'd like to learn more about it. But all of your affiliate links need to have this no follow on there because you're telling them that this is a link that has mutual um, benefit, meaning you're going to get something from it. You're going to get compensation or something from it. If, if you're not getting compensation and you're not getting anything, then you don't need the no follow on there. You take, you don't have that. But because it's an affiliate link and we're affiliate marketers, we absolutely need to put this on our affiliate links. Okay? So hopefully that was helpful to you. And I, again, I will put this no follow code down in the description. And if this video was easy and you liked it, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.